So do you know what all of these things are? Do you have any idea? Well, that one you do. It's not a bow, but what goes in a bow? An arrow, yeah. And do you know what this is? An axe, excellent. And do you know what this is? A knife, that's brilliant. And do you know what any of these things are made of? Wood, you're exactly right. So we have this wooden for a wooden haft here. And we've got wood for the arrow shaft as well. And we've got the handle of our knife is made of wood too. And then do you know what's at the top of this? Do you know what that is? Do you want to touch it? Do you know what that is? No? Any idea? Do you know what it is? Okay. It's a type of stone. It's a type of stone called flint. And flint is a really useful tool that people used a long time ago to make things like axes and knives and arrowheads. And flint is something that they use a lot of during a time called the Neolithic, which is the Stone Age. And all of these things belong to a guy called Utzi. Have you heard of Utzi? Utzi was a man who lived about 5,000 years ago. And he died, unfortunately. And archaeologists found him about 20 years ago. But the great thing about Utzi was they found him high up in the mountains in the Alps. And when they found him, they found him with all of this stuff together. So they found him with an axe, and they found him with arrows, they found all his clothes, they found knives, they found medicine kits, they found his backpack. And it was really amazing. They found his skin, he had his hair, he had tattoos on him. He had loads of stuff. He was really, really well preserved because Utzi died and got trapped in the ice. And so when we found Utzi, or when the archaeologists found Utzi, they were really excited because they had all of these wonderful things that normally don't survive. So he's really interesting and really, really important. And so what we do here in archaeology is sometimes we make copies of different things that people used to have in the past. And so we make copies so we can learn from them, so that we can find out how people might have made them in the past as well themselves, and so that we can show other people how they were made.